Marcelo Ríos. He's probably the most talented player I've ever seen on court. He was very special. I don't think he's one of the most talented guys I've seen, actually. I mean, the way he hits the ball and the way he opens the court and the way he saw the angles like nobody else could do. Great guy to watch, actually. Um, very gifted. 17 years ago, at the March Masters, Marcelo Rios was on the cusp of tennis immortality. Heading into Indian Wells and Miami, the Chilean had a chance to become the first ever South American world number one. Well, I remember I was like five in the world and I have to win the two tournaments to become number one. And Sampras has been number one for a long time, so it was, it was a, a big achievement, like winning two Super 9 in a row, uh, beating like great players. So it was, it was really nice, it was really good, and, and beating Agassi in, in Miami, his, in his home and his country, was, was one, obviously one of my, of my best matches and the matches I always will remember. I can remember he surprised me a lot, the way he was striking the ball, he was very quick and very talented and obviously had a, a great streak where he played some fantastic tennis. Well, in Chile we don't have a lot of sportsmen, so, so it was, was pretty big, it was pretty big, big number one. And more in tennis, I was not a big sporter in that, in that time. Back to Chile and there was a lot of people waiting for you and, and people want to be with you. And, and after that, you became more like an idol in, in Chile, like, like because of, of, of the game in number one. Rios had achieved the ultimate goal in tennis. Admired by his peers and adored by his fans, the Chilean was one of the greats of a generation. His very special career saw him come a long way from the boy who first picked up a racket. I mean, I was 11. 11, I used to live in a country club with my parents. Uh, there were not many tennis players, so, so I just played just for fun. Because I didn't like school, and I always say it was, it was a chance not for going to school to play tennis. And like, if you ask me why, why I, I, I was professional, like, why I was that good, I have no idea. Tennis just came naturally. After turning professional in 1994, it was only a year before the youngster was collecting his maiden ATP World Tour title, with victory on the clay in Bologna. I think when you win your first tournament, you, you never think about it. Like you start playing and you just want to have a good ranking, win some matches, but never win an ATP. I think I was maybe 17, 18 when I was when I won my first ATP, and, and I think it was one one must best moment of my career winning my first interview. An artist on the tennis court, Rios's star shone so brightly, but burnt out too quickly. At the age of only 28, injury forced his retirement. Fortunate for, for Marcelo and for us tennis fans that we, his career cuts a little short. One of the reasons I retired was because of my back. I had back problem and and, and I couldn't play anymore. Like I can play a match, but then I have to retire. So it was, it was, I was not having a good time in the court. Even though I didn't have a bad ranking, I was not doing good. It was a shame that he was getting injured very often because you could enjoy a lot watching him. I think uh, he was great for tennis, uh, different looks, different style of playing and, and very talented. It was uh, a joy to watch him play. He's a natural talent. Uh, obviously, former world number one, just happened to not win a Grand Slam, but one of those players that, that most probably deserved to win a Grand Slam more than some other guys that maybe never made it to number one. I appreciate that uh, my back problem happened after I was number one. It was before I would never be number one, so, so I'm pretty pleased with what I did. And even though I, I retired when I was young, I, I think I did make a, a good career. He achieved so much in such a short time, and Marcelo Rios's gift with a tennis racket will always be treasured. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, Casablanca calling. The clay court swing kicks off in style. And we're in Houston too, as the week's other tournament 
takes us stateside. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.